Hello all, how you all are doing? Welcome to my another blog. Today I am going to share with you all how to make delicious spaghetti and also what we did on weekend. I hope you like it. So let's begin. To make the spaghetti, here I am adding few chopped onion, few chopped garlics, a very pinch of garlics and I will make a smooth paste. After that, here I have taken a pan. Here I will saute a few cubes of paneer because I want to give him paneers on the side with the spaghetti. It will give him a source of protein. And it will be a very healthy meal for him as well. So for the paneer, I am just sauteing them on the pan. I am not adding anything on it, just a salt. After the paneers are sauteed properly, Again, I will take it out on the different box directly and on the same pan, I will add the paste which I have made it, that is the onion and garlic paste. Once I added the paste into the pan, I will saute it nicely till the smell of the onion and garlic goes off. While sauteing it, I will add a very tinge of turmeric and also I will add tomato ketchup to give it a color. As my son is fond of tomato ketchup, I am adding it here. You can also replace with tomato puree. That will also give the same flavor. Once it is sauté properly, you can add the boiled spaghetti. So for this spaghetti, I would like to add, I have taken the wheat spaghetti. So wheat spaghetti, if you boil it in a pan, it takes long hour to get boiled. So what I usually do, I pressure cook them. It also save my time and also I can do it very fast fast so I have boiled the spaghetti on a pressure cooker and keep it aside one thing to keep in mind while you boil the spaghetti add the water don't drain the water because the flavor comes out from the spaghetti from the water of the spaghetti so when you add the water at the end you add the spaghetti water not the normal water it will really enhance your taste so now you can see i'm adding this boiled spaghetti into the pan i will mix it well and then i will add this water now i will mix the spaghetti with this gravy well I'll make sure it get coated well so that all the masala get absorbed by the spaghetti and also at the end I will add the water to give it a little bit of gravy kind of flavor otherwise it will be very dry for the children to you know swallow or chew they will not like it also one more thing this spaghetti is not only for kids this spaghetti is a very hit recipe for adults as well you can try it at your home for this as I am making for my son, I am not adding any green chilli but if I am making for myself, I will add the green chilli as well on the paste. For him, I will add little bit of pepper powder. Once all the masala is added well, I will cover it with the lid to give it a boil. After that, the spaghetti is ready to go. Trust me, this spaghetti is a hit recipe. You can try making it for yourself. You will find it different. You will find that something you are making for is something very special that you get to eat on the restaurant. It's very easy to make. And now you see, it is not a time consuming as well. You can make it at any time. Within 15 minutes, the spaghetti will get ready. So I have always a habit after I make anything for my son, I always try it before serving him. Because if the salt or anything it's not proper, if I do not like it, how my kid will eat? The same rule I follow for him so that he finishes his lunch and he start developing you know, love for the food which many kids doesn't love food, they are a fuzzy eater. I avoid this kind of things by doing this. Also, I would like to add this recipe was requested by my one of my close friend because her son loves this spaghetti recipe and he kept asking his mama, Ki Mama, please make spaghetti like Sudipta auntie. So she requested me, can you please put this recipe so that I can make it for my son? So I'm telling you, this is not for only my son. You can give a try for your kid as well. So now I'm packing his tiffin box. I am giving him spaghetti. And with that, I have given him some saute paneer, some carrot, and on this box, I have given him some nuts. So his lunch box is ready to go. See how beautiful it is looking? More than beautiful, it's colorful. 
So now I will show you on this weekend we went to Andhra restaurant. The name of the restaurant is Nandana Palace. We are fond of Andhra cuisine because their food, their meals and the way they serve is just beautiful. So they serve food on banana leaves and their meals are just breathtaking. I'll show you how their meals look. It's very pretty and it's very fulfilling. This is how they serve. They are serving me ghee on the top of the hot rice. This is how you eat. On the top of it, we have added this sweet, which is their, you know, signature dessert, coconut pudding. Do try. And also this is how my little one is enjoying his strawberry milk, which he loved the most. It's awesome. So after finishing lunch, we are now on the way to airport. We have almost reached to pick up my mom-in-law. She is coming after 8 long months. We are very excited. More than us, it's my son who is excited for his tamu. She is coming and you know how kids love their grandparents and it's very good to see that they enjoy a lot. And I somehow I feel it's privilege that my son is getting love from his grandparents from both the sides. So now we reached and this is how the terminal to looks. It's breathtaking view. They have actually made it so nice, so nice. So we are parking our car and then we are going inside to pick her up. I been able to capture the video how my son and we are reacting after you know meeting her after eight long months because we all were emotional so I couldn't capture the moment. But I will share you the next day. To make her special, I have made some Bengali lunch, which I'll be serving. She is little camera conscious because she is old, as you all know. But still, for me, she has given up this picture. That's all for today. Hope you like it. Bye. See you in next vlog.